I'll, like, advertise the different opportunities. So, like, telling people, like, that it's not just building the stuff and there's, like, designing the stuff and there's lots of different jobs. I agree with what she said. We don't really hear much about the construction industry and all the, like, different opportunities that you have. So I think they need to have more advertising. I would say that they want to let the kids know that there is technology involved in construction also. It's not just that, that there is technology. We are not antiquated. We are with it, uh, that it's not a desk job. I'm just kind of showing them the different jobs that they can do you know, tell them, because you think construction worker, you think, you know, a hammer and nail and actually building things. If I, as a parent, say to my kid, okay, if if you want to go in construction, so just by guiding him, exploring what are the options, mm -hmm. sitting with him, going to maybe different job fairs or showing different kinds of options that he has, would have really helped. People don't realize what kind of opportunities there are in the blue collar trades. I mean, it's not just blue collar, I'm going to work with a hammer anymore. It's, you know, <clears throat> there's a lot of technology involved. You need a diploma from a college to get a decent job. est sans contredit sa réponse aux préoccupations de ses membres concernant la pénurie de main dœuvre en faisant découvrir au grand public l'ensemble des professions et des métiers enrichissants et rémunérateurs dans l'industrie de la construction. Le projet « Chantier de l'emploi » a été le tout premier salon annuel de l'emploi et de la formation dédié exclusivement à l'industrie de la construction à Québec. En créant cet événement, la CQ Québec a d'abord mis sur pied le comité des jeunes leaders de la construction, dont les membres ont entrepris une tournée dans plusieurs écoles secondaires et centres de formation pour faire connaître aux jeunes l'éventail de possibilités qui s'offrent à eux dans le secteur de la construction. People before thought, listen, I've got a great company. Uh, you know what, I employ people, I pay them well, all of the above, and I do great work. That's not enough today. It's just not. You have to really show people who are you as a company. You know, what you do is actually secondary to the people coming in. And so when you look at the trust of a female coming into an industry that's completely male-dominated, still with porta potties You know, the idea is, is that they're looking and saying, how am I going to be supported in this? How am I going to be protected? How am I going to fit in? You know, and I think that that's a very um, interesting point for us to log, Mary, is that the fact is, is that people today are different, you know, and this is going to make people different, you know, and I think that when we look behind the struggle that women have in general, let alone coming into a male dominated industry, We've got to market real, authentic stuff. And a lot of, for a lot of companies out there, Mary, this isn't going to be hard because they're awesome to begin with. They just don't know how to market themselves. It's just that simple. How do you get to the heart of people? How do you make them you know, want to come in? And I think that that's why there's an energy too, Mary, that, that when we look at, we just do things in the construction industry. We just do it. But The reality is, is that are we showing people who we are? Because the reality is, is that we're in a digital world and, and people really, truly stick. You know, it's funny because you'll watch different celebrities on Instagram and this and that, and all they're doing is taking pictures of themselves. And I mean, there's millions of likes. So you, so you sit and you, and you, you look and say, how do we get people to see the cool about us? And that's the one thing we've, we've realized Uh, more so than anything, even, you know, with my branding and different branding is really at the end of the day, Mary, what you and I love to see in a project, you know, over here that we think is phenomenal. Somebody coming into the industry wants to know more about who are we and how do they fit and why do they fit and why would they pick us? In 2019, BCCA launched the Builder's Code, 
an official code of conduct for the construction industry to ensure employers adopt and champion HR policies that guarantee equal and fair treatment of women and all workers in BC's construction workforce. This program details steps to eliminate or reduce incidents of bullying, harassment or discrimination. The Don't Be a Tool campaign launched as part of BCCA's annual Construction Month activities to drive awareness of the new Builder's Code. There were three animated videos created, each based on real-life hazing, bullying and harassment experiences of BC tradeswomen. These videos looked at serious problems through an exaggerated, light-hearted lens, making the whole issue more approachable. So far, over 100 companies have signed the Builder's Code. Looking to the future, CANS has recently provided the Nova Scotia Community College with the CANS Gold Seal Award of Excellence Bursary. This $1,000 award will be granted to a student entering their second year in the Construction Management Technology Program, who can demonstrate how they plan to commit to continuing education, professionalism and ethical thinking once they enter the workforce. The first bursary will be awarded in Spring 2020.